Hi and how are you all? Today my name is Priyanka and let us discuss this question. It says, X is taking up subjects mathematics, physics and chemistry in an examination. His probabilities of getting grade A in the subjects are 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5 respectively. Find the probability that he gets grade A in all subject, grade A in no subject, grade A in two subjects. So here suppose the following events B M is equal to X receives grade A in mathematics let P B X receives grade A in physics and let C be equal to X receives grade A in chemistry. Now, we have probability of M given as 0 0.2, probability of P given as 0 0.3 and probability of C given as 0. 5. So, this implies probability of not getting grade A in maths will be 1 minus 0 0.2 that is 0 0.8 same way that is 0 0.7 and probability not probability of getting grade A in chemistry is 0 0.5 that is 1 minus 0 0.5. Now, for the first part, we need to find out probability that he gets grade A in all subjects. That is, probability of M intersection P intersection C. That is, the product of their probabilities. And that is further equal to 0 0.2 into 0 0.3 into 0 0.5 which gives us the answer as 0 0.03. So this is the answer to the first part. With the help of this first part we can easily find out the probability of getting grade A in no subject. That will be 1 minus this probability that is coming out to be 0 0.0. Sorry, it will be probability of not getting grade A in maths, probability of not getting grade A in physics and probability of not getting grade A in chemistry. That is 0 0.8 into 0 0.7 into 0 0.5 that is coming out to be 0 0.28 so this is the answer to the second part now proceeding with the last part here we need to find out probability of getting grade A in two subjects that will be equal to probability of getting Grade A in physics, grade A in, sorry, grade A in maths, then physics, into probability of getting not a grade A in chemistry. Right? Or we have other it as probability of getting a grade A in maths, not in physics, but in chemistry. Or it can be probability of not getting a grade A in maths, but getting grade A in physics and in chemistry. 
what we need to do is we just need to substitute the value that is 0 0.8 into 0 0.3 into 0 0.5 plus 0 0.2 into 0 0.7 into 0 0.5 plus 0 0.8 here it will be 0 0.2 0 0.8 into 0 0.3 into 0 0.5 it comes out to be 0 0.03 plus 0 0.12 plus 0 0.07 that is 0 0.22 as our answer to the last and final part so hope you understood it and do take care of your calculations. Enjoy. Bye for now.